Well, Brian, counting ballots past election night is a normal part of the electoral process. We spoke with a government and politics professor from UNC Chapel Hill, and he explains exactly how this process works. Wow, what a crowd. Campaigning down to the wire, both presidential candidates hopping from one swing state to another before Election Day 2020. It's go time. Tomorrow's the day. Biden making his final pitch in Pennsylvania. We can lead by the power of our example, not just the example of our power. President Trump at a campaign event in North Carolina Sunday telling reporters he doesn't think ballots should be collected after Election Day. I think it's a terrible thing when people or where, where states are allowed to uh, tabulate ballots for a long period of time after the election is over. UNC government professor Bob Joyce says it's important to keep in mind that election night results are only preliminary, with many more votes still to be counted. They are not yet reviewed, and they uh, there are to be added to them a late, later arriving absentee ballots and provisional ballots that have to be dealt with. With the huge number of mail-in votes this year, plus potential lawsuits and appeals, the race may not be called for days, even longer to certify results. The county boards of elections go into canvas, it's so-called, 10 days after the election. And it is at the canvas that the county boards of elections make the determination as to what the official results of the election are. President Trump is already talking about legal challenges to the election results, telling reporters as soon as Election Day is over, we're going in with our lawyers. Brian.